steer, you gotta have four wheel steer from four. <laughs> from Ron Fitzpatrick, Jeep Parts and Team G503. Pretty amazing there on the intro, the little wavy drive around, that was amazing. Now in this video, we're gonna be looking at the Ford GP four-wheel steer. And that's gonna be important because it, from what my understanding is, there was only 50, five zero of these made. Now the GP, they made quite a bit more than they made the MAs. They actually made a total of 4,458 GPs to be exact. And it's Ford's second prototype, the first being the Pygmy. Now let's jump right into this because I'm excited to show you this vehicle. Ford GP, four wheel steel. <laughs> Looking at the back of the Ford GP, there are some notable features. You notice there is no jerry can, and the bumperettes are very unique in their design. Specifically, look at the Ford script embossed on the rear of the tub. You can also notice the lightweight frame through the back side of the crossmember. The front side is very unique as well. Notice the bar style grille that has the headlights and the blackout lights recessed behind them. You can see the horn in the bottom side of the grille, as well as the gussets that are on the front that make this very unique. The hood that has the hinges recessed, and you can see the front side here, that the actual cold downs or clamps are cut through the fenders. The Ford GP is powered by a Ford 9N tractor engine with 45 horsepower and 80 foot-pounds of torque. It is a four-cylinder L-head engine and can be started with a hand crank. The transmission is a Ford GP 7000 three-speed manual transmission, and the transfer case is a Spicer 18. Notice the location of the distributor on the engine and how the ignition wires are routed to the spark plugs. Also the unique is the air cleaner and carburetor, as well as this feature where the battery tray is actually located towards the firewall of the vehicle. I'll show you the brackets for the headlights that are again behind the grille, which is a unique feature of the GP. Let's take a look on the passenger side of the vehicle, and we'll get a close look here at the windshield brackets and thumb screws that allow the inner windshield to be opened up as a ventilation system. On the inside here you'll see the thumb screw. On the top of the windshield, you'll see the catches that hold the windshield down and the single windshield wiper blade. The rear view mirror is very unique and notice the starter button and ignition key on the dash of the driver's side. Let's walk back to the passenger side and I'll show you more features on the dashboard. Here's the nomenclature plate and data tags. And underneath the data tag in the center of the vehicle would be where your fire extinguisher would go. You can see the bracket. And the Gauge cluster is from a Ford truck, and you can see your various knobs and your ignition key from this side. Notice the bracket on the steering column, and notice the handbrake that comes up through the floor next to the shift rod and the transfer case levers. Very unique setup and very comfortable to drive. That could be because of this incredibly beautiful pan-style seat with the cushions, and the gas tank is located underneath it. The Ford GP is very comfortable, and it drives like a sports car. Let's look at the grab handles on the outside and the reflector, as well as the unique single top bow. Going for a close-up shot here, I've got the wheel turned to the driver's side or to the left if you were driving the vehicle, just so you can see how these wheels articulate with each other and have four-wheel steer. The rear axle is a Spicer 23-2 with a 4.88 gear ratio. The front axle is a Spicer 25 with a 4.88 gear ratio. The tires are NDTs and are mounted on solid disc rims. Now I'm going to show you the magic of how this works. Let's get underneath the Ford GP four-wheel steer and take a look at this steering mechanism. There are two steering boxes, one on the front and one on the rear axle, that are connected with a series of drag links and as well as unique bell cranks that enable the wheels to steer in unison. The inner turning radius is about 14 feet with the wheels fully locked in one direction. And now the fun part. Let me show you what I mean.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed driving. The vehicle, the GP, is absolutely incredible. I'd like to extend a special thanks to the guys at Joe's Motor Pool and Dean Harvey, the owner of these vehicles, and allowed me to film these while we were in Normandy, France for the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Just absolutely all around incredible. Got one more for you coming up after this one. It's going to be the Bantam BRC40, which also is an incredible vehicle in itself. If you'd like to follow along what we're doing here with the 1943 Willis MB and some of these outlandish, crazy, amazing adventures we go on, you can do so by subscribing to Team G503 on YouTube. Until next time, my friends, keep it safe and happy jeeping.